Hey guys, I want to do a review today on the Thruna U1 charger. Pretty nifty little charger, has some really good positives. Two little negatives we're going to talk about, but they're not the end of the world. So, what is this thing? This is a 1 amp charger that can charge both lithium ion and nickel metal hydride batteries, which is good because if you are going to be putting this into, you know, say an emergency bag, bug out bag, go bag, or something like that, it gives you a lot of capabilities. It also acts as a power bank. So, this can take lithium ion batteries from 10440s all the way up to 26650s, which is pretty much the whole, you know, gambit as far as that goes. And it can also charge AA and AAA nickel metal hydrides. Now, it's always going to charge at 1 amp. So, one of the things you do have to be cognizant of is that if you're consistently charging AAAs in this, that uh, 1 amp is a bit high for them, you are going to take out... Some of their longevity and you are going to affect their uh, their service life by charging it consistently at one amp like that now most modern rechargeables can do you know like the Eneloops can do like 2,000 recharges so consider it this way if you charged it every day of the year it's still going to last you seven years charging it at one amp might take one of those years off you know so it's not the end of the world not a deal breaker as far as this is concerned so this thing is yellow, which is nice because it is high vis. So if you're using it backpacking or whatever, and you do drop it, you don't have to worry about that. It's spring loaded, so it'll accommodate the different uh, styles of batteries. Has polarity marked right on it here, so you can read and see exactly how the batteries go in. Very good thing is that it has a charge and a full LED, so you don't need to know Braille or Morse code to figure out what the charging status is. You have your output USB, input USB, and your uh, information on the back. So this little guy comes with one of these uh, 3400 milliamp hour batteries, which are actually really good rebranded Panasonic, uh, rewrap Panasonic batteries. It's going to come with a leather holster and a little cable. And we're going to talk about this little guy. So. The uh, holster is actually pretty cool because it has, not only does it have cutouts for the two USBs on it, but it also has an opening in the top. So we're going to actually do this for you so you can see it. Oh, and this is reverse polarity protected. So if you do put it in backwards, you're not going to fry it, which that's always a plus. Always a plus. So when this is in here, not only is this holster going to help protect and keep it all together, but you have access and can see your full and charge buttons and like I said you have access to your ports. You can see there that USB port is blue when it's ready to output power. So that is kind of cool. Has a uh, velcro belt holster uh, belt loop there and also a regular one that's sewn in. So you can attach it to a belt but you can also if you just want to do a quick attach to like a backpack you can do that as well. So these things are insanely useful because number one you can use these as a means to charge your batteries whether in the house, in your car, or in the field using a solar charger. And number two, it's a power bank. So it makes them very useful. And the fact that it can use lithium ion and nickel metal hydrides makes this thing a very versatile tool. For example, if you want to use this in your bug out bag, you can couple this up with a flashlight. You can also, if you have walkie talkies that take double A's, charge your double A's in this. And on top of it all, use it as a power bank to charge your electronics like your tablet or your phone or whatever. So, performance. I charged this thing a bunch of times, left it overnight, always seems to charge either 4.19 or 4.20 volts. So it charges dead on pretty much every time. Lowest I got was a, I think a 4.18, but I think that may have been the battery as opposed to that because I did charge it with a bunch of different kind of batteries just to see. No issues with the nickel metal hydrides. Everything seems to be pretty decent as far as that's concerned. Now, here is the problem. So, while watching Prepared Mind 101, I learned about this program called Ampere, where you can actually measure the amps coming into your phone. So if you're charging, you can actually tell. So, what we have is the Ethernet cable. So we're going to plug this in. I'll show you something. I 
All right, so it's going to show a number. It's going to switch over, say measuring, da 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 da, da. and you give it a second, and this will come up. There we go. Now it's going to measure it, and we're going to come up with a number, which is basically how much juice is coming into this foam. So we'll do this. We make a nice, nice, pretty picture for you guys. Okay, so you can see right now we're at about a quarter of an amp, 230 milliamps. So now we're up to 300, we're gonna let it sit a second because this can take a second, you gotta remember, these things do, they don't just throw out juice automatically, they do often take a couple seconds to ramp up and come to full power. So as we sit here, you know, you're gonna see this is fluctuating between, you know, around 150 milliamps to 300 is what we've seen for that. That is not anywhere near an amp. That is, in fact, 20% of an amp. So this thing is vastly undercharging. Why is that? Well, because this cable is garbage. Now, I'm not going to blame Thrunite for this because pretty much every cable I've ever gotten from anyone is garbage. And I essentially just throw them out. The reason why is because these anchor cables are really, really good. So, I learned that from Prepare Mind 101 as well, his channel. You know, he, he does a lot of reviews on the uh, power banks and stuff. So, he really highly recommended them, did a little research on the uh, interwebs. And what I actually found is, there's a lot of legitimacy to this, and you're going to see. So, here we go, we're measuring... Na, 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 na. Check that out. We are at over an amp. So it shows you what a dramatic difference that cable can make. You're talking a 200 amp average and now we're well over one amp. So that is very important guys. If you were to use that little cable that's supplied to you, this thing's only running at 20% capacity. That's both with charging and with using it as a power bank. And I, like I said, I wish I could say this is a Thrunite problem, but every single cable I've gotten from every single device has been like this. There is not one thing I've received, whether it being a cell phone, tablet, uh, flashlight, or anything, where the cable is up to par. It's just the way we are as consumers. We don't give a crap, so everybody does it. Literally, there's only a handful of companies out there that actually make good cables. So if you're going to use this, and you're going to use this in a bug out bag or some kind of uh, emergency bag or backpacking, you definitely want to upgrade your cable to a good one. I highly recommend the Anchor ones because they do charge very well. And you're going to see it's going to fluctuate depending on what the phone pulls as to what it's doing, how much energy the phone is using. <clears throat> but you can clearly see that with this cable, it does pull the full amp. So I did want to point that out. So it is. It's it's a huge thing, guys. And I don't like to point, you know, and, and nitpick over it. But in the end, if it helps one guy, it helps it. Because people will end up giving these things bad reviews. And you'll see that and read that. Where people say, oh, my God, it took 10 hours to charge my battery. Well, the reason why, crummy cable. But like I said, this is not a through-night problem. Don't consider it as a criticism to them. They don't make the cables, they just buy them. But the industry standard is so poor when it comes to USB channel, uh, channels, <laughs> USB cables, that it just, nobody out there is making good ones. So it's kind of on you, you know? You can go and go on like Amazon and you can buy like a five pack of the anchors for like $10. Not only do they last longer, they do. I've had these anchors now for like a year. They last longer, they're better quality, and you just get so much more power out of them. They're a great investment, especially if you're going to be using this for an emergency situation like a bug out bag. So there it is, guys, the U1. <coughs> it's a nice little charger. You can see it puts out full power, charges very well, does everything very nicely. I think it's very easy to use. The only downsides, like I said, is you can't through charge with this thing and that uh, the cable it comes with is pretty crummy. But other than that, it's a good performer. A lot of capabilities out of such a little charger.